My name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. And today I wanna to talk to you about how what you eat directly can impact your strabismus or lazy eye, amblyopia. All of those things are directly impacted by the foods that you are consuming. So I wanna share with you the science and the research that has been done in this area and also what I have experienced myself as I've experimented with different diets, as I've gone through vision therapy and surgery and the foods that have made the biggest and the most positive impact on my vision. So let's get started. Now, strabismus is a brain problem, right? Strabismus is when your eyes aren't pointing in the same direction, but the reason is because your brain doesn't know how to use your eyes together. So the foods that are gonna help your eyes, we also need to think of the foods that are going to help your brain. They're both important. So this is my list of the types of nutrients that you need to be getting every single day or at least every week to help your vision and your brain. First, omega-3 fatty acids. Next, car carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin. Next, vitamin A or beta carotene, vitamin C, zinc, flavonoids, and fiber. Now, each of these comes from different types of foods, each of them has a different effect in your body. So let's jump into what these different foods can do for you. Okay, first on our list is omega-3 fatty acids. Now these are amazing and some of the best sources are so easy to incorporate in your diet. Just a quarter cup of walnuts daily can give you what your body needs. Um, six ounces of salmon, flaxseed, soybeans, or if you like to eat gross food like tofu, that's also an option. <laughs> I choose not to. So there's a lot of really easy to access um, foods. There are tons of different supplements that you could visit with your optometrist or your doctor about. I prefer to try to get those nutrients by eating the foods because I feel like that your body is able to digest and to use those nutrients more effectively. Now, what will these foods do for you? Omega-3s have been proven to help with brain and eye development. They improve cognitive function. They help with the absorption of other important nutrients, and they can even reduce dry eye. There's so much of your brain and your eye that has high amounts of DHA or these omega-3 fatty acids. So as you keep a nice supply of those in your diet, that's gonna help your brain and your eyes function at the highest level possible. All right, the next super category that we wanna get is carotenoids, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's lutein and zeanthin. They do provide is clear central vision. They can even help absorb blue light from computers and screens. So if you've got amblyopia and you've got some like problems with your vision and the clarity, keeping that this type of food in your diet can help maintain clear vision. I have noticed this above all other side effects of eating healthy is the clarity that I am able to see with both my strong and my weak eye. And when I start eating bad foods, that's the first thing to go is the clear central vision. So the best foods for these types of foods, the carotenoids, anything green, like we've got kale, Swiss chard, spinach, romaine lettuce. I think red peppers are actually pretty high up on the list as well, but just think dark leafy greens, that is gonna help you get clear vision and help fight that blue light from screens. So huge impact there. The next nutrient I wanna talk about is vitamin A. Vitamin A is phenomenal and everyone should be making sure they're getting enough vitamin A, especially if you have strabismus. Now what's interesting about vitamin A is it is taken into the rods of your eyes. So you've got rods and cones. Cones are in charge of central vision, rods are in charge of peripheral vision. So when the rods are taking this in, they're helping you with peripheral vision and also night vision. So they can help you see better and use the light that you have more effectively so that you can see better at night. Those are two things that people with strabismus struggle with like across the board, peripheral vision, night driving. Everyone with strabismus that I've ever talked to struggles with driving at night. They don't think they struggle with peripheral vision, but they usually do. So eating a diet high in vitamin A can help you use what you have and make it a little bit better. Great sources 
best source is actually gonna be sweet potatoes. It's like 200% of your daily needs. You, kale is second on the list. Of course, kale's good at everything. Um, carrots, red peppers, all of those are down the list. If you wanna see, um, I have the full charts on my website that kind of show, okay, you need this much per day and these nutrients have you know 200% of what you need. This has 48% of what you need. So you can kind of get a feel for each of these different categories. So if you go to strabismussolutions.com, you can see it there. Now, all right, so that's vitamin A. Moving on to vitamin C. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. It can stabilize, stabilize your brain function. It can prevent disease. It basically like all of the bad things that you do to your body, like eat junk food, all of those things are going to create negative free radicals in your body. So what you need is a lot of powerful antioxidants that can help you fight those free radicals, right? So vitamin C is amazing for that. And um, we're gonna talk about flavonoids. Um, that, that's like a more broad term, but again, powerful antioxidants. Those help fight all of the mess that's going on to make things function at the optimal levels. Zinc is an amazing nutrient that has a really powerful impact on your whole body. I usually just take it when I'm getting a cold, but after doing a little bit more research, I'm realizing how impactful zinc can be. It's actually necessary for over 300 different enzymes to work all throughout your body. And one of the things that it can help is for your eyes and your brain to use vitamin A, which is if you remember what helps you with night vision and peripheral vision. So zinc is really important there. It can also help with like cell renewal. So kind of that same idea of like when you've got bad stuff that your body needs to get rid of, zinc can help renew cells. It can also help reduce inflammation, which is a major issue. When you've got your eyes and your brain all inflamed, it's not going to be working optimally. With strabismus, you might be getting you know, headaches and soreness and all of these different issues or if you're having surgery. And so if you can keep that inflammation down, you're gonna see a lot of those side effects much, much less. The best sources of zinc, we're looking at the protein. It's you and think protein for zinc. So like a five ounce steak, beef steak, is got 150% of your daily value. Chicken, lentils or beans and eggs are more around the 50% mark. And then you've got like mushrooms and oatmeal have like 20%. So you can still get it from a non meat source if you're vegan or vegetarian, but definitely steak is going to be the easiest. I believe liver is a really great source, but that's yucky. <laughs> Next, let's talk about flavonoids. Flavonoids are compounds that are found in fruits and vegetables, and they have so many different health benefits. They are amazing antioxidants, super powerful. They reduce inflammation, they increase blood flow, helps the brain be so much more efficient and helps with memory. So this is gonna help as you, if you are in vision therapy and you're trying to learn to use your eyes and fix strabismus for good so that your eyes are functioning together, you need the memory, you need this ability to, for your brain to learn this new skill. And so having this like increased blood flow and decreased inflammation is gonna make a huge difference. There's a ton of different flavonoids and the science behind this is kind of insane. So I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just gonna say that they're awesome. And the best way to get them, blueberries. Double the next closest item. So blueberries are amazing. You can also like raspberries and blackberries, all of the berry fruits are gonna be really high in flavonoids. Um, kale, super great source. Oranges, parsley, green tea, onion. So these are all sources. For more details on the specifics, just head over to the website. But again, these are not hard. It's not like you have to eat some crazy food in order to get this. You can go get frozen blueberries at this grocery store and throw them in a smoothie with kale and a teaspoon of, or tablespoon of flaxseed, and you've got like a lot of the nutrients that your body is gonna need for the day. So this doesn't have to be difficult. It's, it's pretty simple, but you do need to be a little bit more intentional if you wanna get these special brain foods that are gonna make a really big difference for you. The last thing I wanna talk about is fiber. Fiber is not something that's usually talked about a lot on these different things with 
eye health and improve your eye health with what you eat. But fiber is so important. Um, fiber actually stabilizes your blood sugar and it slows down your digestion. So what that does is it makes it easier for your body to absorb nutrients. So if you're just drinking, chugging kale smoothies all the time, your body might, that might go through your body quickly, but if you also are having a cup of beans or um, other types of fiber, that slows that process down so your body has more time to take all those nutrients out of the smoothie and bring them to your brain, bring them to your eyes so that you can get that. So that's something that to think about is to make sure you're getting plenty of fiber so you can get that from, you know, whole grains, beans, legumes. There's, there's so many different great sources of fiber. Now, those are all the things you should be eating. And it's pretty clear that if you can get your brain and your eyes functioning at optimal levels, your strabismus is going to be much easier to fix. If you're fighting against high sugar consumption and like unhealthy fats, it's just going to slow everything down in your brain. Your brain's not going to be as willing to like learn this new skill. So you've got to, you've got to fuel your brain correctly. One thing I will add with what you shouldn't eat is sugar, you know, sugar, salt, all oil, all of those things are going to be bad, right? but sugar is a killer. It increases inflammation. It increases it so fast. It's so sad. I actually love sugar. And so it's really sad for me that it impacts my vision so aggressively because I would like to eat more sugar in my life. But every time I do, my vision starts getting blurry. I start getting more double vision. Um, I, I'm, I have more eye fatigue. I just can't look at the screen. It makes my eyes burn. I go off sugar. I start eating more kale and voila, my vision has improved tremendously. I'm telling you, you can see a difference with your vision in a matter of days if you start implementing more of these healthy eating habits. Now, if you don't want the long version, if you want the short, concise version, I do have a free PDF that I've created that kind of goes through the basics of the types of foods that you need, the best sources, and like a, a diet plan that you could use that helps you get all of those every day. So you can get that at strabismussolutions.com slash eat. And it's just a free download. You can also check out that article at strabismussolutions.com. If this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week.